Hey, it's Lori. Welcome to my channel. Super excited to share. I have been hoarding some um, incoming dies, stamps, stuff from AliExpress, and it's time to sort of go through some of this. This is a mix of different Ali stores. If there's something you see that you specifically want to know where I got, by all means, leave me a comment and I'll hook you up. I do see um, a small section here that I know came from this year, came from KS Craft. Everything else is a mix of a variety of stores. And this is probably um, almost a month's worth of collections. So, let, hey, let's get into this. Let's start with... Chaos Craft. I've been eyeing this up. Um, I love the idea of these super fun um, candle numbers. They have the out the shadow outline um, for birthday cards. We got this super fun swan bag topper. Um, you could cut this apart. It doesn't necessarily have to be a bag topper. Um, it has the center pieces. It looks like that may cut independent. Um, so I will check that out and let you know. This one was an absolute must-have. Um, love this. I love the idea of this for crafty cards. You are perfect, amazing, special, unique, truly loved. Could obviously go anywhere. But then um, either for tags, and it does give you this great die to cut around the sentiment. Again, it can be on a card front. This could go in a tag. Um... I like the idea of maybe making tags or even stickers. Um, you print this on sticker paper. Throw this one maybe onto a box um, of outgoing happy mail. Love that. So grab that um, for sure. And I love this Feelin' Mary paper pack. Um, you know, Christmas in July, I guess. Everybody's videos have me so inspired. So let's see what this looks like. Um, wow, first off, it's a decent weight. Um, it's, it's not cardstock, but it's still a good weight. Really saturated, rich colors. We got the classics. This is a fun one, though. This is a really pale pink on this. Um, snowflakes. Again, this could be almost any season. This makes me think of watermelons when I look at it. Um, this is so fun. Again, and almost any season on that. I just love this guy. And this might be the reason why I got this whole pack just for this really fun Santa. And I love the little round glasses, but the pink tones. So it looks red, but it's more of a dark pink. Um, these are just some of my most favorite colors for sure. Snowmen, always fun. Again, could be, well, no, yeah, it's definitely Christmas. Um, oh, there we go. That's the one. Love, love, love that. Can you see it? So cute. All right, so great paper pack. Um, definitely recommend that one. And then I got this, which is, I think it's sort of like a folio case. I'll have to go back and look. I see the holes there. Um, yeah, I think it's like a little album that sort of folds over. Um, we'll see. I'll, I promise I'll make something soon with that. All right, and then all the others. And I do have to say there's sort of a, a reading slant to this. I got in my head I really, really want to make bookmarks. So I thought um, any of these books, like I like the idea of stacking up. Um, sets like this or books like this um, all of these work great and I just saw a typo in that one I don't know if you can see it on the uh, it says I collate books still a great deal um, always from Allie so we've got that um, this is for the holidays let me get the white background behind it it's for the holidays um, may your holidays be free and bright I think it's no secret um, I've got four cats. Mo likes to walk through some of my videos. 
but I thought that this was just so fun. I feel like most of my friends and family are um, pet lovers and have dogs and cats, so I like the idea of just that nod to their pet family as well. And the sentiments are so cute. May your holidays be furry and bright. Meowy Christmas. Yappy Christmas. Have a howly jowly Christmas. Um, love that. And then it comes with this coordinating die. So we got that. Um, again, with the books, this one ended up being a lot bigger. Um, I don't know if... So to give this comparison to that 6x6 six six paper, you can appreciate how large that is. Um, might be a little too big for a bookmark, but still love it. Um, again, the books, the cats. Sentiments look a little small in this one. I just love this, though. Doesn't that just scream bookmark? Um, that in and of itself, I would probably ink up and make that stack a little taller. It's pretty representative in my house right now. Um, but again, it could be really great for cards as well. And in fact, some of these sentiments, I thought, I have a friend that works in Cat Rescue, and I thought of stamping up some cards for her that she can hand out either to other volunteers, some of the foster moms, or um, anybody that adopts a cat, such as whoever finds a good friend finds a home with a picture of a cat. Um, cats are the family we choose. Um, let's see. Life is short. Spend it with a cat. Every day is another chance to get another cat. And if you knew her, you'd know that's truth. Um, so yeah, love that one. Always, always love the cats for sure. Um, let's see. What else do we have here? Um, oh, this was a super fun set. Again, cards. Um, I've really been doing a lot of card making. And I got some new alcohol ink markers. And so I'm really into any stamps that I can color in. So you'll see that as part of the trend as well. But how fun is this? This is a good size stamp. We'll make an excellent card front and then you can stamp on the front of that die cut onesie. All these fun um, baby themed sentiments. I just love that. So that I suspect is gonna get a lot of use. Um, all right, so this is a fun one, mainly um, for some of these cards where you want to give the instruction on what to do with it, um, like the pull me, the shake me, scratch off, look inside. Um, yeah, so I think that'll be a lot of fun. Love this one, again, for crafty um, happy mail and whatnot. I mean, it actually has a happy mail, happiness enclosed, stamping the backs of cards created by, um, handmade. Yeah, so consider this a paper hug. Love it, love it. Please deliver to. So you'll see these in the backs of some of my cards if we trade. Again, being able to color in um, some stamped impressions, and then I love that it includes the coordinating die with it. And let's see. I'm going to get these all mixed up, I fear. All right, so here's another one again that I can color in with the coordinating dies. Um, when I count my blessings, I count you, autumn leaves, and pumpkin, please. Um, I just love these little mice. They're so adorable. This feels a little smaller, um, but I did get a die cut, you know, where it cuts the three circles up a card, and I love the idea that these can peek out, so they are sized really great for that. And then the coordinating dies. All right. More to color in. Sweetest little dream come true. Just love, love, love that with a great set of coordinating dies. And again, for all my cat friends, um, this, these are just stamps. I don't think I got the dies with that. I'm not sure that it comes with dies. Um, I could be wrong, though. But they're sweet enough on their own. All right, so what else do we have here? 
more kitties. Um, you're my favorite nap partner. Thank you very much again for my friend in rescue. Um, I thought that this would be pretty awesome. And then it comes with the dies. More cats. That should just be the theme of this one. And then this one, again, is for card making. Um, I work with an organization called Mennonite Central Committee, and they host an annual, what they call a PA relief sale. And this is a fundraiser. And my sister and I chair the committee for the handmade items booth. And last, last for the earlier April's um, sale, we had somebody donate um, about 300 handmade cards. Friends, it was our biggest seller. Um, people absolutely went nuts for those. So it occurred to me, gosh, I've got that, that talent and should be making some of my own. So I picked these specifically for card making, um, thinking of that event also got these crosses. I kind of feel like I missed Easter. Discovered I didn't, all I had was a few cute things for Easter, but I wanted something with a stronger message. So I got these crosses to work with, and I think you'll see in this um, group some more stuff. Again, more sentiments with a religious focus. Um, I feel like I'm mixing losing some stuff here all right a lot of sentiments um i am such a sucker for sentiments especially when i can die cut they look super cute and i think yep this goes with it so yeah lots of happy stuff while there is a congrats grad i didn't have anything specifically for graduation um these this messaging can work for such a variety of occasions um all right, more, more book themed stamps. Here we have, I think this just makes a small, this is a matchbox, that's what it is. Um, I misplaced my matchbox die and I absolutely love that. So that's a replacement for me. Um, again, thinking about cat folks, this says you are my favorite veterinarian. Love that. Um, this one says what makes you different makes you beautiful. And I thought this would just be beyond adorable done in watercolors with some, you know, festive, bright colors. And then it's got a coordinating dye. Bookmarks. This one ended up, you can see how small this is. I'm not sure it's totally going to work, um, but we're going to try it. This is, um, I love the Get It Girl. Love, love, love and good vibes. Oh, no, you didn't. Um, just a lot of fun on this set with the dies. I also grabbed some Spanish um word dies, sentiment dies. Um, I think I want to create some cards with those and incorporate that into my um, card making. Yeah. And this one is fun. I, I love the blocks. Um, I'm really a huge fan of anything gridded, any composition that involves grids or blocking. Um, it's just, it's the, you know, I'm all about the symmetry, and I know some of us kind of go overboard, but that's definitely me. But at the same time, this feels like a way to make a really quick and simple card. Um, you literally stamp, color, and mat it, and then put your sentiment under it, and you're done. You're good to go. So these would be great to do, I feel like, in batches as I start to think about Christmas cards because it's July. All right, here we have some more sentiments. Um, I like these for both the outside as well as the inside of my cards. Pretty basic, goes with everything. This is just so fun. Uh, you know, I looked at this, I had it in my cart, and I'm thinking like, really? How are you gonna use this? Um, it almost feels more like it might be up for a planner, but I just, it's so specific to what we do. 
and thought, you know, I just gotta, if nothing else, stamp it, use a circle punch, and punch these out. Wouldn't they just be fun little stickers, um, again, to stick on a outgoing swap package or something? Some fun Christmas sentiments, and this is, again, with those circles, somewhere I know I've got that, um, circle set. So this could create a unique background on each individual um, hole. And then this doesn't necessarily coordinate, but is similar along that same line. Again, more sentiments. And I think this coordinates with a set I have to cut out. And then for fun, we've got this rainbow bag topper. Love that. Can't wait to play with that one. I've got a mason jar, and this, I think you could, this is meant to flip over, um, and I feel like you could definitely turn this into a shaker, um, or you can just cut it off the top and leave as is. I really like the size. I hope you can appreciate how big that is. This one is huge, turned out way to be way bigger than I thought it would be, but I love, love, love it. I feel like this could be a card in and of itself. Um, oh, yeah, it's got the crease. That's the intention, that it is a fold-over card. Um, and I like that. I really like that size. This, I think, is a bag. Yeah, that's a bag topper. Um, though Some of this could be frames, too, if you want it to be. Um, yeah, so I like that. And then my last thing is these are hot foil plates. And we've got a ghost. I just like the idea of incorporating a little bit of glitter. Um, and I did get, I think last year, some purple, um, sort of like holographic foil. So I think that's going to look really cool. I've, I've got the hot foil machine and I'm not going to lie, I haven't pulled it out and used it yet. So let's see if this motivates me. So that's what I grabbed. Um, again, if there's anything specific you saw and are like, yeah, gotta have that, add it to my stash, I will certainly just leave a comment. I'll search, certainly dig through, let you know where I got that and give, hook you up with a link. Thanks for watching. Um,